Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a very interesting geometry math problem. Here we have given a right angle triangle whose perpendicular is 9 units and whose base is 12 units and the hypotenuse is not given and there are two congruent circles inside the triangle. Our target is to find out the radius of each circle, any one circle. So for that, first of all here we will try to find out the third side of this right angle triangle. Now, as this is a right angle triangle, so therefore here we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. So here we will apply the Pythagoras theorem and we will find out this one side. So let us suppose this one third side is equal to x. So we will try to find out the value of x. So by Pythagoras theorem, the square of hypotenuse is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. So therefore from this figure here we can write, here our hypotenuse is x. This will become x square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square let's simplify this one equation so this is x square 9 square is simply 81 plus 12 square is simply 144 so this is x square is equal to this is 1 and 4 is 5 8 4 is 12 and this is 2 so this gives him 225 now taking square root on both sides this gives him x is equal to this is simply 50. So therefore the third side of this right angle triangle is 15 years. So here this is 15 years. Now we will try to find out the radius of this circle. Now to find out the radius of this circle here we will join this center of this circle with the vertices of this triangle. As well as this one point of tangency and this one point of tangency. So this figure will become now after joining the center with the vertices of the triangle, also the point of tangencies here, this is the radius of the circle, so this is small r, this is also radius, so this is also small r. Now here this is the sum of the radius of this one circle and the diameter of this circle, so this will be 3r. Now look into the bigger right angle triangle, here we have three triangles, this one triangle, this one triangle and this one triangle. And here the area of this right angle triangle will be the sum of these three triangles. So we know that we can find out the area of any triangle when its height and its base is given. So therefore from this figure here we can write the area of the bigger triangle will become here we know that area of any triangle is half times base times height. So therefore the base of the bigger triangle is 12 units and its height is 9 units and in these three triangles in this one triangle the base is 12 units and the height is r in this one triangle the base is 9 units and the height is 3r and in this one triangle the base is 15 units and the height is r so therefore from this figure here we can write now here the area of the bigger triangle will become that is half times its base is 12 units and its height is 9 units. That will be the sum of the areas of the three triangles. So the area of the first triangle will become this is half times its base is 12 and its height is r plus the area of the second triangle will become half times the base is 9 units and the height is 3r and the area of the third triangle will become half times the base is 15 units and the height is r. So let's simplify this one equation for the value of r. So here 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 6 is 12. So 9 times 6 is 54. This will become 54. And here this 1 over 2 is same. So therefore from this figure here we can write this is 2 and this is 12 r plus 9 times 3 is 27. So this is 27 r plus this is 15r. Now summing these three numbers in the numerator, this will become 54 is equal to, this gives him about 54r divided by 2. Here we can cancel 54 with 54, so this will become only 1. We will take this 2 to the left hand side. So therefore the value of r will become r is equal to 2 units. So finally the radius of each circle and this right angle triangle is only two units. So this is two units and this reduces two units.